Welcome back guys to another video of Visions of Mana. Uh, by the way, uh, in, in the end of the last episode, I fall in here and I got so lucky because I could fast travel here to this meridian. Because if you fall like I did, there is a bug over there where is where this uh, blue circle is uh, let me see uh, map controls yeah uh, this see this blue circle yeah is not going to disappear from there if you want to accomplish uh, i don't know 100% of the game so that's a bug uh and i restarted the game tried to find a i don't know auto save before the boss or something i didn't find anything but uh, fortunately, I remembered that I could uh, try to fast travel in here and that was my luck because if I couldn't <clears throat> fast travel here, I had to start the game all over again. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the boss then. Damn, what a shitty bug. That can can ruin your your entire game. Please no! I abhor amphibians. Well, I like them. Look at its great big eyes. So cute. Shiryu once told me about the fall of the king at the Benevidon's hand. I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> Let's finish this and be done with it. Tormarni's time is up. I will fight for my friends and all the people of Etern. I will set things right! Well? Well, I'm guessing that this boss does sleep as well. The hell? Look at that adorable face. This is for everything this monster has put me through. The inside of its mouth is glowing grotesquely. This is power. Okay, the tongue is its weak point. All right. So let's be on first. Elemental candle. Bring that tongue out, bitch! My gratitude! Don't you think? Uh, yeah, FPS. Huh? Yeah, FPS is. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I discovered some new uh, uh, new moves that I wasn't uh, using at all. I'll show you after this dialogue.
I am Gahul, king and master of Castle Cresceno. Successor to this world, you have freed me from my perpetual stockade. Who? The revolutionary King Gahul, creator of the Lunar Sandglass and founder of Etern. How are you here? The Benevadon of the Moon consumed my essence, locking my soul inside its body. Tormarni toys with its prey, altering their minds and confusing their hearts. With its demise, those who were affected shall regain their senses. What'll happen to the phantom stuck in the castle? Unlike me, those specters are mere echoes of thoughts from the past, brought to the present through Tormarni's power. Then... they will disappear eventually. You have done well subduing your foe, but I must make one more request of you this day. Protect the Lunar Sand Glass in my state. Uh, I apologize, but the Sand Glass, as you know it, was destroyed. I <coughs> toppled the device when I was a child and broke it. Etern's tragedy was... It was my fault. The sand glass cannot be broken by a mere child. Just as it cannot be broken by time itself, it would be impossible to bring harm to the machine without intent. My lunar sand glass is powered by a magical device, a quasi-perpetual motion apparatus I named the Thaumatorb. I never knew what made it run. An unknown theme sabotage. Is this supposed to happen or is this a bug or something? Like silhouettes being blue? Really? Watch the device, not you, young one. Rest easy knowing you are not to blame for Etern's misfortunes. So it wasn't me. However, if the sand glass is indeed irreparable. Its Thaumatorb core may have been plundered by a malicious force. Arvid's war is over and the world no longer in need of such a powerful device. If you find the core, I trust you will destroy it utterly and without hesitation. My time in this world is nearly over. I leave the future to you, the ones who must weather it. Ghost disappeared. My apologies for being unable to lend any aid during this adventure. I am afraid the Benevadon bested me. Thank the goddess you're all back to normal. Yeah, but we got an extra helping of trouble from that king and a thumb of what's it we need to watch out for. Let's focus on taking care of the immediate problems first, namely the Benevadons and Delafos. Alrighty then. What? Morley. Morley. Who's there? <laughs> the phantoms are going back to where they came from, I think. When I touched the sands of time, I was thrown into echoes of the past. If it weren't for... Those of us who were sent back in time can now slowly move toward a future of our own. Don't be consumed by what happened. Focus on what you can do now. <sighs> Mother, I... I... I found friends as close as family. And a guardian I look up to as a parent. I became a swordsman, just like father was before he passed. I've done so much. You would have been so proud. Mother, you... You don't have to worry about me. Not anymore. I... I'm, I'm really... 
Morley, I'm your mother, and I only have one wish. Live. Live your life as fully and as long as you can, for both our sakes. I love you. You will always be my one and only. My little boy. Mother! Your selfless devotion to all that you do is well known to the Alms and myself. I'm sure your mother felt it as well. Luna is correct. You have helped us all in incalculable ways at every turn, including this recent affair. Not that this Moon Bedevedon fiasco was our fault. Either way, Marley and Val really came through for everyone this time. Just don't let it go to your heads. You got that, you two? I mean, watching you all was a little funny, at times. Speaking of which, you have this thing about bottling up your emotions. That's not fair to you, or your friends who care about you. Let them out already! <sighs> Uncork that bottle? You mean... <sighs> Deep down, I admit I struggled with my duty as the Om of the Moon. Should the world's future fate be in my hands, am I worthy of that responsibility? But with that last moment I had with my mother, I finally found closure. I can safely say I'm putting the past behind me. I must again give my thanks. De La Fosse's curse is not yet gone from the lands, but thanks to your help, I will be able to suppress it for now. <sighs> I think it's time for us to check on Milpa and the others. All of this was a Benevidon's doing, you say? Ah, we were lucky you were here to lend a hand. Though I cannot think back on my behavior without utter embarrassment. And in front of my star pupil, no less. Please, you have nothing to be ashamed of, Milpa. After all, I saw people far worse off during this particular ordeal. Don't you look at me like that! <laughs> what matters is that the threat is gone. Now the parish can be rebuilt as planned. Expect more hands arriving to help Etern shortly. I'll make sure of that. We can't let the Alms do all the work around here. Don't worry, Niccolo isn't off the hook either. I'll be calling on him for supplies, and to inform him about your recent victory. If you ask me, the future looks bright for the parish. We must forge ahead. It falls to us to further ensure a peaceful prospect for the people. So what are we waiting for? Dalefos won't wait forever and neither will the Benevidons. No rest for the wicked. Sound about right. Milpa, it is my intention to have a hand in rebuilding Etern as well. When I see everyone working hard for our homeland, my heart aches. If I've learned anything on my journey, it's not to ignore that yearning. I can see the resolve in your eyes. That willpower shall see you through. Fate is on your side. Fulfill the destiny that awaits you, regardless of what you've been told. Do what you know is right. Your courage will strengthen its hand. Though the parish may not be the same bustling landscape of your memories for many years, its people are with you, Morley, no matter what. Safe travels, Morley! Thank you, everyone. All right. 
Let's go get the next. Benevadon, yeah. I was... Oh my god, just forgot the name of these guys that we are uh, trying to fight. The Benevadon, Benevadon. Benevadon. Well, some trip, huh? Karina, please. All right. You don't know the half of it. I'm just so, so happy to hear you bicker again. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We have more... Uh, Hmm. All right, just pause the recording for a little bit, just to get uh, to go down here and grab uh, all the side quests here. But I haven't done any. All right, so the next Benevadons one is gonna be here. Let's go. Going to check on Ilistana? Hopefully Gandum, the Benevadon of Water, isn't causing any waves. Oh, with the flow of commerce centered in the capital, a Benevadon strike would be catastrophic to the crowd. That is a future I would do anything to prevent. All right, head to Elistana. This loading was enormous. I see no sign of benevadonal catastrophe in the capital so far. The people are as lively as ever. Ian appears to be well suited to his new status. Thank the goddess for that. Palomina, would you like to visit Ian while we're here? Given the pressing nature of our circumstances, I feel quite guilty taking up our precious time with a visit to my brother. But I feel this might be a convenient opportunity to inquire about any odd instances in the capital as well. I will head directly to the palace. Ian should be there. Would you like to accompany me? Of course. Let's go. It's been a while since I said hi to Ian. Ian's got to be at the palace, right? Let's go see. All right, let, uh, let's see if there is any new weapons in here. Welcome. What will it be? Let's see. In the last city, there was uh, a new weapons. A new armors. Oh, there you are. Something. Will that be all? Much appreciated. In case I need. What else can I do with, uh, with the many head I have? Okay, where the, the armor shop is? Oh my god. What? Am I blind or something? Ah, oh, there you are. Over here. Jesus. Welcome. Please Let's see. What we have. Nope, nothing new. Come again soon. Let's see, okay, this city is completed. Now that I'm think of, uh, I think I should have um, a teleported. It would be way faster. I think it's the first time. Yeah, there's four chests here, here in this castle. Yeah, this is the first time I, I get to be in the same side of the castle. 
So let's explore a little bit. Taking this. Grab, grab ever, everything. Got some syrup. Grizzly. A grizzly. Oh, there's more grizzly over there. This is oh, so that's our first. Item. Oh. A weapon for Palamina. Oh, I cannot equip it. Got some syrup. Okay. Let me see. This might be useful. Hmm, I don't think there is anything here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Oh, wait. There is some grizzly over here. Grizzly! Oh my god, these characters always say the same thing. Grizzly! Jesus. There's one chest here. The third one, if I'm not mistaken. This is kind of exciting. A rare item! Holy saber. And the other one is over here. After the dialogue. Oh, Palomina! And the rest of the alms as well. I have missed you, my brother. Are you taking care of yourself? As much as I can. There's not a lot of time for me to rest with so many new duties. But I will see to it that Ilistana thrives. Niccolo has been of great help to me since you left. I see why you were always so busy as queen. Oh, regarding Pissar, we have not seen hide nor hair of him since he fled the kingdom. But we will continue our search. Rulers don't have it easy, huh? Rumors of Benevidon activity in the surrounding areas probably makes it even worse. It's hard to ask so much of him, but we should make sure he's prepared for the worst. You have done so much for so many, Ian, in spite of your inexperience. I am grateful. We took a short stroll through the city and saw no irregularities. In fact, I believe it to be as bustling as ever. Please continue to watch over Ilistana. I assure you, I have had many difficulties and been unable to implement several of the plans I had wished to. But having you here is heartening to say the least. I was prepared never to see you again, so... Our water is completely gone! Whoa! What now? What's happening? <gasps> Ian! Oh no! He is burning up! Watch over him, Palomina. We'll take a look outside. See to our city, please. We gotta find out what's wrong. Going to the fountain's our best bet. I don't know why, but I should uh, save the game. In case uh, some battle occurs. I should save the game. Let's see if I can before I initiate this scene. Let's rest up!
the waters run dry? Look there! It is gone! The aqua orb! Uh-oh. When Pasar tried to mess with the water supply, things got bad quick. And this is already way worse. It is because of Gandum, the Benevidon of water. Fairy! Gandum is the only one who could make off with the aqua orb, I'm sure of it. As for a motive, it may have wanted to steal all the water for itself. Without water, the people can't survive. Ilastana will be... Everyone! Mew returned! I'd love to hear about all your adventures, but that will have to wait. We have a panic on our hands! Father, this whole thing is the fault of the Benevidon of Water. A Benevidon? Are you sure? We are. It's why we're here instead of at the Mana Tree. We have to save our homelands first. Leave the Benevidon to us, Father. Would you help us by calming the people of Ilistana until we finish our mission? Hmm... Sounds like Mew've got your paws full. Leave Ilistana to me! Can Doom had been sealed away deep within the Luka ruins. Then it must be in the Under Temple. That place is so deep within the ruins that hardly anyone goes there. I've never been myself. Undine always loved the Under Temple. I hope nothing's happened to her. Madeline's been giving me updates about your travels. No Benevidon stands a chance against Mew. I feel it in my whiskers. I think young Ian is past due for a status report. He should know that the Benevidon is causing the water issue. Palomina is with him now. We can relay the information when we meet up with her. Roger. We're all counting on Mew. Oh! I heard the Mews! Val, you were named the Alm of Light! Wow, how'd you know? As I told Mew before, I have my sources. Mew've experienced a lot that the world has to offer since Mew left Ilistana, Val. Realized important things about Hina and Core Stones? Probably some things about yourself that Mew never knew. Mew're here now doing what needs to be done. Never forget that we all believe in Mew. Niccolo, you always know just what to say. Thanks. You're basically the whole reason I didn't give up on this journey back when we first came here. Now I'm certain. I won't abandon my duty to the Alms or as one myself. That's what I like to hear. I have faith in Mew, and so do all the people of the world that Mew've helped along the way. Now then. You have a Benevidon to deal with. Give my regards to Palomina and Ian. Thanks, Nick. Hmm, let's see. Glow. Now it's back to the palace. Ah, way faster. Uh, let's talk to Pelamina and go to the location of the Benevadon. We gotta kill that bastard. Then we have one more, and probably we'll see. The physician says that stress is the source of your exhaustion. Mental malaise can have an effect on the physique. You may have taken on a few too many tasks. I apologize for not being here to offer you support. Mm-hmm. Ian? Are you awake? Palomina? You are back. I am so... so glad. Yes. I have returned for however long this visit lasts. We asked the goddess for a deferment of our duties for a time. Rest. You have earned it. 
And in your stead, the convoy will cope with the crisis in the capital. Nina, do not leave me behind. Please. Ian, I... You promised. Help me become the best king I can be. Please, Mina. Stay with me. Do not go. The fact that you remember a promise proposed so far in the past is surprising. You were so young. I vowed to help you become a ruler befitting of this beautiful kingdom. Father was so very pleased to hear our pledge. That I remember well. Ian. Oh, how I wished that we could govern the people of Ilistana together. <sighs> but the goddess of mana had other plans. As your only family, since our mother and father passed, and as the former monarch, I fear that I have left you to pick up the pieces of this kingdom of ours. Oh, Ian. Oh my god, so much dialogue. Taking this? I'm intrigued by the end of this game. Uh, to see, like, since they're, they're arms, uh, they're going to destroy the that other guy, the, I don't remember his name, the one that released the Benevadons, uh, killing all the Benevadons, and yeah i'm curious to see if in the end we will accomplish our our journey and get sacrificed or if no need for more sacrifices i don't know but i'm just Tell intrigued by that how's ian fatigue caused his fainting spell he should get better with bed rest i apologize for the alarm that's good he should sleep it off be good, but things in Illistana look grim. There's no more water and a Benevidence to blame. Gandum may be hiding out in a section of the Luga ruins called the Undertemple. Then it is our duty to discern the root of the problem. Let us go. You don't want to stay with Ian? If it has fallen to me to look out for the capital in Ian's stead, then so be it. Come, we should not delay. So yeah, I'm just intrigued by the ending uh, of this story. To see probably Deephalos or Deilophalos or whatever his name is. Uh, maybe he. So first we go past uh, the Benevadons. Then we need to go further uh, to the Under Temple. We're responsible we're for the gear, need we'll be fine. of the alms and the sacrifice of the alms. I don't know, maybe. At the end, after we kill them all, uh, things go back to normal and uh, no need for people to die anymore, to the sacrifice anymore. I don't know. I'm just curious about that. Well, I do hope because of that they won't get sacrificed and they stop the <clears throat> that thing every four or four years the arms get chosen and and then they get sacrificed at, at the end so i'm positive that uh, uh, that will happen but we'll see Plus the Alm of Fire, the Hina or something, yeah. 
Uh, but probably she gets uh, she gets revived. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. And it would be nice to have a happy ending. Like Val gets uh, gets back with uh, with Hina. Yeah. They get married, get children, and uh, they get a normal to be to have a normal a life. And no need for more sacrifices or alms. That would be amazing. Yeah, no need to waste time with these guys. So I'm just... Uh, yeah, as soon as you destroy a tree... Yeah, there's probably uh, one group of enemies. And down below, two more groups of enemies. Uh, every time you destroy one group of enemies... You'll lit one of these things. Yeah. And then this door will get open. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to go up. Then there's gonna be a boss here. With uh, more minions. And then you'll get the chest. With a weapon. For one of the characters. In this case, I think this one gave me the sight for Palamina. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's gonna be one fight here and one fight over there. Unfortunately, they disappear, so you cannot fight them anymore in order to farm. Let us ponder our next plan. Which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap up here because you know, as soon as I enter the, the that area. They're going to talk even more, and we're already at the 37 minutes. Reach it now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that for the next episode. For now, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.